Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Lord. At the outset, I must be thankful to the Lord for He has given me an opportunity to stand before you and expound the word of God. And I have come all the way from India, Tamil Nadu, Chennai. And uh, it's, uh, I never expected that I would come here and you know, share the word of God with you. But I must be thankful to the Lord, first of all. Secondly, I must be thankful to the pastor of this church for extending the invitation to me to come over here and meet you all and share the, share the word of the God as well. Now, of all the portions in the Bible, I've written uh, nearly four books for the glory of the Lord in Tamil only because it's exclusively meant for Tamil-speaking people in Tamil Nadu. And if it is written in English, many people who may not be benefited. Okay, so I am going to share with you one of the, this is a book I've written. I am leaving some of the books here. And if you are so interested, and uh, you can get it from him and be benefited. And one of the chapters in the book, you know, the faithfulness of God, even though people are unfaithful, God is faithful always. Unmindful of our gratitude. His love is always, because His love, agape, you must be knowing, and you know, it's eternal. Everlasting love, never ending love, it is permanent, it is undeserving. So even though we don't deserve, in spite of that, God, God's love is immeasurable. Amen. Hallelujah. So, John's Gospel. The last chapter, 21st chapter, I have taken some of the portions here for our brief consideration. <clears throat> 21. I have all praise for our Tamil translation because I, you know, I have consulted other books, other, sorry, Bible, other areas, you know, written by so many scholars. But, uh, you know, I cannot but appreciate the translation, you know, given in Tamil Bible. Now, it goes like this. After the resurrection, before ascension of Christ, after the resurrection, Jesus was here in the world 40 long days. 40 days. After that, he was raptured. He was in and, you know, the third occasion, he appeared himself. He appeared before the disciples, all backslidden, forgotten, all the miracles performed by Jesus during the three and a half years in his ministry. Completely and comfortably forgotten. So ungrateful. So they were total backslidden condition. And, you know, she are, you know, they're forgetting. The miracle performed because day in and day out, Jesus used to perform hundreds and hundreds of miracles, but they have forgotten. The love of Jesus, love of their master, and you know, the commandment, the commission, and you know, the <coughs> church, the building, you know, all these things, you know, they set aside and gone back to their old profession, fishing. Because <clears throat> Jesus himself said on the cross, Lord, how uh, you have forsaken me. The Lord himself has said, God, you have forsaken me. Then where are we? We are nothing before. 
God. So they have come to the rough conclusion. They've gone back to the old profession, and uh, this is how it begins. Uh, if you are very interested, you can um, open your Bible. John's Gap Gospel, 21. Uh, let me read, you know, in Tamil the past, then I'll switch on to English. Kadarkarayile marubadiyum sishalilikku tammai veli padithinaan. Appeared, in English, you know, it is some. Appearance is different from revelation. So now one more time, God revealed himself. We are during, I said just a while ago, during three and a half years ministry in the world, and you know how many number of times he revealed himself is miracle. Performed so many miracles. But here, third time of the resurrection, you know, third time he is appearing before uh, the same disciple and performed many miracles here. And uh, <clears throat> that is revelation, I can say. Revelation revealed himself one more time just to recapitulate their memory, just to strengthen them, just to help them to build up the kingdom of the God after his ascension. That was the commandment, you know that well. Now look here. Okay. So here in this context, in this particular phrase, you know, as nearly seven disciples are found. We do not know what happened to the other uh, five, uh, four. Yeah, because they are not to be, not to, not to be seen. What happened to them? Because they are very afraid of their very existence in this world. Because they are afraid of the government and other people who are against Jesus and the other principles, you know. And uh, see, only seven people are found here. Now look here. <coughs> Peter, let me go for fishing. Let me go for fishing. He said, all the people, you know, being the elder in the company, being the senior most servant of God, disciple in that brand, you know, the, the band, now he must have said, let us go and pray for the sick people. Let us do something solid for the uh, kingdom of God. Forgotten. They have gone back to the old, this implicitly, you know, yes, they have gone. All other people, you know, they never said, let us pray. Let us do something solid for the Lord. And, you know, let us preach the gospel. No, no, nothing. They again go to, uh, you know, again old profession. Look here. Here, the third word is so very important. I tell you, friends, this, this portion is fully embedded with so many precious, you know, jewels, I can say. So many things, you know, we are going to learn from this area, from this portion, I tell you. Now let me spell out one by one. Now look here. <coughs> and the Rautri lay over a golden room pretty king lay. Then, night, you know, by what will be the, you just imagine for a while, what will be the time when they got into the boat for fishing? It may be nine or it may be ten, night time. And the Rautri, during that night time, you know, they caught nothing. They caught nothing. It's very meaningful. I, one by one, you know, seven points I'm going to place before you. And, you know, let us briefly consider the implication of every point, you know, is mentioned. Not clearly, but, you know, it is, uh, every uh, word is pregnant with meaning. Deeper connotation, I tell you. <coughs> okay. And the Rathriyile, our Rumundra Pritikyu, during that night, they got nothing. What does it signify? Because during night time, normally the fishers must be knowing they are seasoned the fishermen, with, well experienced, with all their experience, with all their experience, uh, expertise. 
they caught nothing. They could not catch anything. Why? Because the night. Night signifies the darkness. Night signifies, you know, always sad things will happen. All the offenses, it may be murder, it may be prostitution, it may be so many things, adultery, and so many things, you know, atrocities may take place during night time. And you know, they are in the backsliding stage, so they could not catch anything, however hard they tried, during the, all the time, all the night. They tried their best. They could not get one thing, let me tell you. Let me place before you one important point. If God is not in our ministry, if God is not with our family, if God is not with our, you know, even other things, you know, you that whole, we cannot do anything. We cannot, we cannot. Our body try. We cannot do anything at all. Because Jesus was not in that boat. Jesus, in a simple point, that Jesus was not in the boat, you know. So they could not get anything. In the Ratri Le, our Udru Pritya Le, if Jesus is not with us, you know, it indicates darkness. It indicates disappointment. It indicates sorrow. That's a very simple point, you know. But one thing I tell you, we may be in dark area in our life, dark situation in our life, disappointments in our life. Look here how beautifully the Holy Spirit has, you know, written here. The next word, follow me carefully. Fourth word, dear Karamana Bodhu. When day breaking, morning, early hours of the day, Vidir Kalamana Bodhu, Yesu Karali Nindra. Early morning, that, what do you mean by that? That darkness will not continue in our life. The disappointment won't continue in our life. The diseases that we may suffer from won't continue, I tell you. Because in the morning, Jesus was standing. That is the real uh, beauty. That is the real spiritual meaning, I tell you, beloved. You may have so many disappointments in our life. Or, you know, sufferings we may have. Financial constraints. And, you know, um, uh, physical ailments. Even family problem. And so many other uh, problems we confront with. Day in, day out, we know that. But I tell you, Dear Kala, that with dawning, it won't continue forever. It won't continue forever. Jesus will come to you. Hallelujah. What a consoling point. It's given by the Holy Spirit. Don't be frightened because of the darkness is around you. Because of your disappointment. Or, you know, so, uh, so many other things. It may be even death. Don't take it away. Don't be disheartened. I will come. I will come. I am with you always. I won't leave you, not forsake you. Dear Kalamana Bodhu, the morning, early morning, he was standing patiently waiting for the arrival of the, you know, back to them disciples. Three and a half years, imagine. To the end of years, long, he was, they, all these people were serving with him. And you know, living with him, eating with him, sleeping with him, traveling with him, <coughs> ministering with him. On that, they have forgotten the origin. That's a, that's a, a, a human nature. Always, on the, on the part of God, you know, always give. Give, give, forgive. That is the, you know, experience of God. Always giving. Whatever, you know, whenever we demand. Whatever we demand, you know, we give, give, give. 
But you know the attitude of the, we believe it, we children of God, get, get, forget. See the attitude of God, you know, give, give, forgive. But we guys, you know, <coughs> get, get, forget. The same man, man. These people have gone back to the old profession, forgetting all the miracles of whom I God during three, three and a half years ministry, very sorry state of affairs. Then fifth, let me come to you. This is opening, opening point, opening message. I know fifth word, how does it go? I have, I, I, just a little bit, I told you, I have all appreciation for the eternal translation. It is mentioned here, but in other, you can refer with the English, you know, friends, you know, the ocean of difference between friends and father. So what does it mean? Prilahile means, you know, Jesus introducing himself, an affectionate word with affectionate word, son, children. So he introduces himself as father. Though they have forgotten Jesus and his miracle, all the love and affection and whatnot, but Jesus, you know, <coughs> the ever-loving God, the ever-loving God, you know. So, children, do you have anything to eat? Do you have anything to eat? <coughs> so, uh, I can't even think of this understanding of almost all, I believe. And you know, as father is asking, you know, children, that is father. And you know, there was so much of difference between the only father and the heavenly father. Forgetting all, if it is heavenly father, uh, the worldly father, you, what, what will be the attitude of the worldly father? You ungrateful fellows. You bachelor fellows. <coughs> you have forgotten me. You have forgotten my love. You've forgotten all the ministries, all the, you know, miracles I have performed. He never said like that. And so nothing had happened. He have completely forgotten. So, one thing I tell you again, remember, remind you, <coughs> at this juncture, God will, if you want to uh, see, remember all these things. He will forgive. Secondly, don't uh, miss the point. He will forget. He will forgive all the sins that we committed in our life. 101, uh, you know, sins we have committed in our life. 1001. But he will <coughs> forgive. At the same time, he will forget. So here, it's pointed out here, children. So the first place, seven points I told you, I am going to place before you. Number one, Jesus appeared before the same disciples and introduced himself as Father. Heavenly Father. Okay. Secondly, let me pause on. Our girl, yes, in Ariyadavindar girl, in Tamil, they said Ariyadavindar appeared again. They could not identify, they could not recognize. They could not. Jesus, you know, was standing, physically present. And you know, in the early hours of the day, in the early morning, standing on the shore waiting eagerly for the arrival of the disciples to the seashore. He was standing there. All these uh, seven uh, disciples are there. And they looked at, the, looked at him. They, no one could not recognize, identify Jesus. What a pathetic condition, you know. What if I, because, you know, their mind, inner mind, inner mind is not true. And I can tell you, and you know, these people, other people, only start here, you can um, see him on the room. You know, this disciple, he was able to identify Jesus. He was the, of the seven disciples, you know, there in the boat. Simon only, you know, could understand Jesus. All of them could not. 
Why? These all these people could not understand, could not recognize him. <coughs> because I, I can tell you, all the, the seven the disciples, you know, six disciples were admitted in Houston Hospital for cataract operation. <laughs> for cataract operation, all these people were admitted. So they could not, you know, physically present and standing, waiting for these people. They could not understand. I some then he heard further. So, first point I said, he revealed himself as father. What a tender, what an affectionate. See, calling, you know, Jesus, you know, used me. The second point I tell you, do you have anything to eat? Do you have any meat? Do you have anything to eat? So what does it signify? It's, I told you, every word, every sentence, you know, has a real lot of meaning, inner meaning. Do you have anything? What do you, what do you mean by that? Do you have anything, you guys? What, what, what indication I have given you? The, you have forgotten the real significance, the real heavenly, spiritual na nature, heavenly nature, the calling. You have forgotten and you have gone back to your old profession. Forgetting the law, forgetting the building of heavenly kingdom. You have forgotten. What do you gain? You labored hard. You suffered enough throughout the night. What do you have gained? This is the lesson we have to learn from this particular point. However hard we try in our life, in our domestic life, daily commerce of life, you may be working day and night, yeah, so much. I know, I don't know, your, uh, your condition, your financial position, you may be sound. Whereas in other countries, in other places, particularly in Tamil Nadu, people work hard, even including, you know, church of, um, even, believers, children of God, blood bought children of God, they work hard with all their efforts, they could not say anything. What will be their answer? No. No saving. No back balance. I understood, you know, a lot of loans, so many, you know, constraints, financial constraints. So many things they will go on enumerate. Okay. Now look here. That is the answer. If Jesus is not in our life. Jesus is not in our ministry. Or in our, you know, daily commerce of life. And this will be the answer. Nothing. No saving. And conditions of going from bad to worse. Very pathetic. This will be the pathetic answer. Okay. So, first, first place I told you, that means, you know, reveal himself as father. Secondly, do you have anything to eat? Enquire. The second point, let me place before you, Jesus revealed himself as an heavenly inquirer. And you know, inquiry, we also, you know, make inquiries at the time when the people are, are suffering from some desire. I admit in hospital, we go there and, you know, pray fervently with burden, we used to pray. And what do we say, you know, I will continue to pray, brother, sister, we will continue to pray, we will uphold you, and God will definitely give you. These all, you know, consolation, consoling words used to give. But here, the enquiry is something different. The enquiry of God, the enquiry of Jesus will be totally different from that of ours, I tell you. And whatever be the problem that we confront in our life, Jesus not only make enquiries, at the same time, you know, he, he will definitely deliver. Whatever be the complications, whatever be the difficulties that he will come across in our life, and you know, he's able to solve. He won't stop with some just making enquiries. Now we can make enquiries sincerely, but we cannot give complete deliverance sometimes. But it is possible with God. So, 
He is an inquirer. Even today, the same inquirer is with us. This morning, here in Houston Church, he is making inquiries concerning your spiritual condition, concerning your family life, concerning your official life, concerning your uh, ministry as well. Okay? So, not only Father, he revealed himself as inquirer. The third place, let me go on. That is the answer given by the backslidden people. Nothing, Lord. No. But he goes further. Upward the world. What are you? What are you? What are you? Cast your net on the right side. What do you mean by that? Cast your net on the right side. What does it infer? They were casting the net on the <laughs> left side or wrong side? Wrong side. Okay. Some people use their left side. No. Wrong side. So, whatever may be our, you know, endeavor, whatever may be your efforts, you know, in our family, in our, you know, official, you know, uh, particularly in ministry also, right side we must cast. Particularly, you know, some testimony so given by a uh, girl. Uh, good thing. So, cast your net on the right, right, right side, right side of this. And if you put your net on the uh, see, wrong side, and later you come to the pastor's pastor, I married this man or this girl. Oh, I suffer, suffering is hard. No, no, no. Right side. If you want to do ministry, the right side. If you want to do something solid for the Lord, and you know, do it on the right side. So very meaningful, you know. Yes. All along, you disciples, you backslidden people, wrong side. I told you these are all you know going to very familiar with that. Uh, you know, see, everywhere they know they have empty number of times they have labored hard, and you know God. Uh, so much we come across here, the same in portions. We don't have much time to explain. But anyway, he is revealing himself. Third place, third point. First, father, he said. Secondly, inquirer, he said. Third, Jesus revealed himself as foreteller, just like a prophet. Just like a prophet, you know, foreteller. God, I have in my place, you know, Tamil Nadu, you may not be knowing much. And you know, people will say this and that, you know. It may be the voice of God, prompting of God, the prophecy given by God. But sometimes to, you know, gain popularity, you know, I, I don't like to blame them totally. But anyway, sometimes I have seen in my life, I am 82 now, and then come across, you know, so many people, and it, it turns to be false. Here, Jesus told him on the right side, he said. But very important thing that you must appreciate the disciples, without raising any. Sir, we have labored hard. We have tried our best. We got seven people over here. You want us to live, you know, throughout night, toiling, moiling, you know, yeah. That, but with all that, we couldn't. How can you say that you, we have tried our best earlier? No. Obedience. Children of God, whatever the servant of God says, whatever the Bible says, whatever the Holy Spirit says, implicitly obey. That you will be richly benefited, I tell you. Obedience. Kirpadi, Muneti, the Mudalpadi, Mudalpadi, Kirpadi, Kiranapadi. So, we, first of all, you know, you must obey. Even the God of Eden, disobedience, you know, was the first cause for the fall on the part of Adam and Eve. Okay, you know that very well. So, immediately obey, and you know, because he revealed himself 
as for the Lord. You, 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 you praise. So God will definitely speak. Either through this, well, several so, uh, different paths are you know, It's a big uh, topic to be discussed, you know, how to recognize, how to identify that the particular thing is the will of God in your marriage, in your job, or in our house construction, buying, or in so many things are there, you know. You can. So many reasons are there. Psalm Jabadari has written a book on that, how to identify the will of God. Okay, let me tell you, first of all, you know, it, it is the will of God, obedience. If God, clearly, because, you know, through the word of God, God will speak to you. Through the servant of God, he will speak to you. Holy the Spirit, when you pray, he will speak to you. Yeah, it's a diverse manners, you know. He will speak to you and deal with you when you confront yourself with the problem in your life. Now look here. Here, they obey. <coughs> then, Tiradana <coughs> Mingan. And you know, boat full of fish. Net full of fish. They were able to pass. But, <laughs> unfortunately, before that, you know, Throughout the night, without Jesus, and you know, they were trying, they were, they were dependent on their own self effort. Yeah. Don't depend on your wisdom. Don't depend on your, you know, your influence or strength or, you know, some other, some other you know, support of some people, that's why it's it. No. <coughs> depend on God. Depend on the servant of God. Advice. Counsel. Depend on the word of God. It will be a source of blessing to you, beloved. Look here. They work hard, they caught nothing. But when they started obeying the word of God, they could catch. Boat full of, net full of uh, fish, they could get. Okay. So it's a miracle worker. First place I said, Father. <laughs> then Yankaira, then foreteller, forty miracle worker. The same miracle worker Jesus is with us even today. He's unchanging God. The promises are unchanging and never ending. It will continue. It will be the same today and forever. Is the same yesterday. Jehovah. He was, he is, he is, he will be with us. Jehovah, Jehovah. Because Jehovah is the, Yahweh is the first term for, I am saying, recognizing, identifying God. They won't say Yahweh, they the first word introduced. The next to that, Jehovah. Next to that, you know, Joshua. Next to that, you know, Jesus. So the derivation from Joshua, Jesus, okay? You know that. Well, come back to the point, you know, revealed himself as miracle worker. He proved himself one more time after resurrection, meeting the disappointed people, backslidden people, the, trying to open the inner mind of the people, the disciples, backslidden people, because his love is unfailing. His love is unchanging. Okay? He demonstrated one more time before his ascension, after the resurrection, the resurrected power. He was standing on the show and, you know, meeting one more time, last time, give one more chance for them to recapitulate, to strengthen one more time and make them fit enough to serve the Lord with all their beam and vigor. Okay? Then, some point, Yesu ku unbiased decision Pedro Yipartu, the same writer of this gospel, John, John, the writer, the, the third person, you know, as though he's the third person, you know, he's writing, Yesu ku unbiased decision Pedro Yipartu. The disciple who Jesus loved, <coughs> Not the disciple who loved Jesus. The disciple whom loved Jesus. Jesus loved. Okay, yeah. 
So he loved most the Ali, you know. See, he's, he was the only person of all the seven. They were, they were there, you know, in that particular context. Seven disciples are there, but Simo, uh, this um, <coughs> John could identify I, uh, yeah, yeah, Jesus, because one reason I tell you, so I can, I, I can adduce, one important point we cannot set aside, John, the number one point of all the twelve disciples, chosen by God as a person, John was number one who loved Jesus very much. Loved Jesus very dearly. So he could identify, that is Jesus. Dear children of God, let me emphasize this point one more time. If you love Jesus in your life, if you obey, and if you serve the Lord, obey the Lord, sincerely in your life, God will reveal himself to you in your life. So revelation is possible, but that, that's the reason, you know, Next to uh, the, the disciple, the other so many disciples, the books are written, the book in the New, uh, New Testament, you know. <coughs> Next to Paul, John was able to write five books for gospel. Is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, one, four. One, go one gospel and three. Uh, letters, then revelation. I was able to write five books, you know, because John loved Jesus very much. Because of that. Because if all the seven disciples are here, he was able to write one. That is Jesus, he said. Why other people could not recognize him? Because they didn't love him much. If you love him, God will reveal himself to you, children of God. Remember this point. If you love sincerely, how to love? Not by giving the tithe or offering, even obedience. Obedience to the word of God. Obedience to the truth of, truth of the Bible. Okay? Obedience to the church. Servant of God. Obey. Elders in our family. Elders in our family. Elders may be there, you know, grandpa, pastor, or pastor. Father, parents, and you. It will be so so blessing to you. Okay. Let me let me pass on to other thing. Ninth point. Ninth word. Can you anyone read this important point? I am going to spend just yes, I am going to finish within a few minutes. Uh, ninth point, whether in Tamil or English, whatever. Anybody could help me? But anyway, let me tell you. Karinerupu Kotrikradi, Al Mim Mim Vitrikradi, Apotim Vedakil. So, this is the last chance, first and last chance for me to meet you here. And I will not, will not be possible for you to come again here and, you know, expose the word of God. So, let me, you know, this is the last chance for me. First and last chance I told you. And I, 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 I tell you, Fourth words here, Jesus was standing there, Hill. They could not recognize him. Look here. The ninth words, they are able to see bread. They are able to see fish. What is that? Coal fire. They could not see Jesus, but they were able to see the same condition. The only people, you know, they cannot understand. He was Tamil, he was in Houston, he was Tamil church. But they can very well understand the picture houses. And you know, the cinema theater or you know, uh, so many other entertaining, uh, you know. They can. This is the sorriest condition, state of our lives. Okay, look here. I tell you, for this, on the strength of the word of God, on the strength of this, you know, particular word, three important points. I am giving you as a promise of God because I am quite certain I will not be meeting you again. So, this is the last, particularly for fast of the church. 
And you, children of God, you know, come here, three blessings God will bless you because you are the fourth month, I believe, and so many uh, things. Even your life, the entire life, you can take it for granted, you know. Three things. Number one, cold fire. So, fiery blessing, fiery baptism, God will give you. That stands for that. Cold fire. Body fire, that's one and all, blessing from high above. Plus a blessing from heaven. The strength of God will definitely give you. That's the reason. Second point, you know, fish, that stands for soul. If you have got thirst for soul, winning soul in your life, through the life, you know, you cannot go to see distant place. Yeah, and you know, it is enough. If you go on praying for your neighbors, one servant of God writes like this in his book. Okay, you are a child of God, living in the particular area. How many years? Nearly 10 years. If you are living in that particular locality for 10 years, if your neighbor doesn't get saved, then I am doubtful about your salvation, he says. You are there for 10 years. And you know, so many people are uh, you know, unsaved. And if you are going on, you know, so it doesn't have any effect by living in the particular area when other people, your neighbor, your opposite people, and you know, other people, you know, do not get saved. Okay, children of God, I told you, you know, the fire, cold fire. Fire from above. Secondly, fish, you know, ah, you will give, you will catch. You will win souls for the Lord through your prayer, prayer life, through your ministry, Sunday school. You know, if you, you know, so many, so many things, you know, ministry, connected with church. Thirdly, bread, that is manna, upon, manna, heavenly manna, word of God, so many revelations. God will give you in your life. So three blessings are waiting for the children of God on the authentic word of God, on the strength of the word of God that is written here. Three things I said. Coal fire. Secondly, fish. Third, bread. Three spiritual connotations, these three things. First of all, heavenly blessing. Okay, you are going to be filled with it. The power of God in an immersion worship. Okay. Secondly, souls God will give you. Dear children of God, let me place me here on the you know, Do not go and win soul, you know, even from outside. First of all, you must win our own children. We know you know, so you must, you know, lead them to salvation. Yeah. But I, I tell you, as parents, because we are big teacher, teacher educator, you know, even professors used to attend my college. <coughs> and, you know, I tell you, you need not go and do not suffer much. One thing, let me tell you, and as parents, you try to, as parents, you, you may give a good health, a good food, and good, you know, shelter you are giving, food you are giving, and, you know, dress, clothing, all these things, you know, you are, you are, you are capable of, you are going to, you have been enough. But how about their personal life? Many parents don't bother about their inner life, the spiritual growth of the person. And if the, our children, you know, <clears throat> they suffer from, or if the, pro the growth is not, you know, satisfying, satisfactory growth, immediately you consult the doctor. Doctor, ah, he is not, uh, you know, his weight is declining, decreasing. All these things are very much concerned about the physical growth of our children. Okay. And you know, we are ready to give all these, you know, satisfy that needs. That is fundamental needs. Basic needs. So many needs are there. Anyway, these are the fundamental needs. You are ready to, you know, how about the spiritual need? Spiritual need. As long as you know, small children, that's okay. When they grow older, Teenagers, you know that. Teenage problem, you know. 
And it's uh, so taking very ugly shape. In different countries, in other areas, yeah, including here, you know, people turn to be <coughs> criminals, delinquents. Delinquents mean child criminal. <coughs> okay. So we are accountable for the growth of our children in our life. Every parent, Christian parent, must be accountable for the spiritual growth of our, the God-given children. You are accountable. The accountability, don't forget in your life. You must take care of. Particularly when you, oh, you know. Then, you know, uh, see, you come to pastor, pastor, my daughter, you know. I used to conduct uh, uh, prayer, only prayer there. Pastor Mohan is there. And if you see 3,000, 4,000 people used to congregate for a prayer meeting. And now the number is increasing. Well, <coughs> they, some people, parents, used to write a small paper. Aya, my daughter is uh, a saved girl. She accepted Christ. She has taken baptism. Everything is Aya. But uh, she is spending most of the time with friends, most of the time with TV, pray. Why this cry? Okay, so children of God, parents, dear parents, and you know, you are accountable. You are accountable. I am blessed with three children. I tell you, I am not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating. All my three children never attended any picture rooms in their life. They are free from all through their life. You know. One is there here, and the other two are there. You know, in place in life. And you know, they never go to. That doesn't mean they <laughs> tune to TV. Yeah, so no, no, no. And I, I can testify. And witness for them, the growth. So, dear children of God, so they are accountable. Accountable is that don't forget about it. Okay. Now let me conclude within a few minutes. And I have taken, it should not take uh, <coughs> much time. <coughs> now look here. Perform, I say. Another point. Tenth point, tenth word. Silavati Kunduvarangal. Jesus revealed himself as, you know, entertainer. Entertainer. Silavati Kunduvarangal. Why should we demand? Because it was the miracle performed by Jesus. They were able to get all these, you know, and give, bring them, bring them to me. What does it mean? I bless them. And not because of their effort. Because of the miracle performed by Jesus, they were able to catch so many fish, boat full of fish. Okay, yeah. So we must give. So give first to the Lord. First, yeah, whatever may be your, your salary. Whatever may be your income, whatever may be the blessing that you receive from God. So give first to the Lord. The same manner as you get up, you know, you give first time and you know to the Lord in prayer. First always, first always. So many things you know that very well I did not explain to you. I know uh, you can very well understand. Always first, always first. First thing. First thing to God, it will be a blessing to you. First thing to pray, immediately when you get, get up and start preparing tea and other things, you know, that's, and um, tune up something and, you know, mindful of our, you know, domestic chores. No. Let us give preeminence, priority to spiritual, godly, okay? That is a blessing. In order to go to our end, give to me, bring them, bring it over. Then, another important point, I don't have time to explain. 153, it is said, it's very peculiar. So many people, I, I, I too, we could not understand. Why did 153 big fish, it is pointed out here, why 153? And, you know, God gave me seven reasons. I, I do not have time to uh, explore all these things. Let me place before you only two or three. The 153, during, there were 153 countries in the world at the time of Jesus. When Jesus was doing ministry in this world, there were 153 nations in the world. Then another point, 153 language people spoken. 153 cultural, culturally the people, you know, 
may be different culture, cultural influence, cultural background. Today, culture is nurtured in society. Well, 153 languages and you see characteristics. <coughs> 153, all the characters of the human we can be drawn to classify under 153. So that is why it is pointed out here, 153 big fishes. Okay, well, now, is it? Eleven uh, point, Valai Kriya will lay. And you know, you keep it in mind, you don't have time to read now. Luke, took chapter, since you are the same miracle performed earlier by Jesus. The same, the same disciples were there. Same miracle he performed. So many, ah, yeah, boat full of, net full of fish, you know, they caught. But there, in Luke, Dr. Luke Gospel, you know, the, the net was broken. Here, net was not broken. Why this difference? Because the spiritual growth, the earlier stage, the beginning stage, the depth of faith, you know, was not, uh, see, not so great as expected all. Okay. So here, they are closer to God, and you know, they are going to take up the cross. And the cross of the ministry, all these things are, you know. So things are different here. Bro the net was broken, not broken. Not broken. There it was broken. Okay, there. So, God must be in. So, Nikia is a Tatayana. Jesus reveals himself as Santatai. But the last word, let me conclude. Varingal, Bodhinu Mandingal. Varingal, come unto me, all you labor and heavy laden. This is the, you know, the God of Eden. Father God said, get lost. Get out. Don't stand here. Ah, you have no place here. Go, go, go. Judgment was pronounced by God. When this, our forefathers, you know, have committed sin against God because of the disobedience. Get out. But Jesus on the cross, come unto me. Come unto me. Whatever may be your backslidden state, whatever may be your disappointment, whatever the serious nature of, you know, and set aside, come unto me without any reservation. I am ready to help you. I am ready to extend all possible help as the Heavenly Father. Okay? The last one. And you know, 30. After the meaning of the Last word, you know, Jesus distributed the bread, fish. Okay? Now, what does it mean? The first of all, in the first instance, Jesus revealing himself, Father. And lastly, you know, Jesus concludes and reveal himself as mother. Motherly affection. Motherly affection, you know, gave supply food, considering their tiredness, labor, you know. So this is the seven points I have placed before you for your brief consideration, <coughs> spiritual significance, or spiritual no, cream, spiritual cream, you can understand. You go back and try to give one more reading after hearing the word of God. Seven points are placed before you. I told you this area is full of, you know, <coughs> embedded with meaning, I told, precious jewels. So this book I have written is one of the books, four books for Paul. This is divine delicacies. From this portion only, I have been talking to you. This is recorded here. So I have left some of the books here. Not I, If I had known it earlier, I would have brought. So many books are kept I at home. I couldn't have brought it all here. Anyway, you are interested, you can. I am really happy to be here. And you can get it from pastor and be richly benefited. May God bless you. Continue to think of that. And I felt so homely here. When I see you all here, you know, all Tamil people, Tamil speaking people, Tamil cultural background, all this I feel so homely. And uh, continue to pray for me. And I also, in turn, I pray for you. May God richly bless you. 
and help you to appear when God appears in glory in the mid-air and we can be accepted by God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God bless you.